Hey everybody, and welcome back to uh, part two in uh, a very tiny video series I'm doing on the Line 6 uh, Relay G10S that I received just a couple days ago. I released a video yesterday uh, with a quick overview <clears throat> and review and some of my thoughts on some of the features of the G10S, which I think Line 6 has done a fabulous job with improving on maybe the G10, which, you know, as some people pointed out, was never really meant to be a uh, roadworthy kind of a touring uh, wireless, but what they've done with the G10S is kind of raised the level and put more uh, professional features, I guess, in there. But I did have a few questions. I did some um, sound examples yesterday using a distorted tone, uh, comparing the sound of the G10S to uh, that of a real physical, uh, high quality physical guitar cable. And then I also compared it to the sound with uh, the G10S's cable tone feature set to off uh, and when it was mimicking a 10 foot cable and was mimicking a, a, a 30 foot cable. Uh, I did that with a distorted tone and a lot of folks uh, questioned and said, hey, could you do that with a clean tone? So yes, I can, I'll do that today. Uh, so we'll do that in just a minute. But another question a lot of people had is, does it play well with active pickups? Now, the answer is yes and no. Um, if you plug it into an active pickup guitar, and I don't have any active pickup guitars here other than my Yamaha silent guitars, which are acoustic guitars, but they are active, right? So if I plug the transmitter straight into that, no, I don't get any sound. But what Line 6 has done, and as mentioned in the manual, and I had somebody ask if I could post a picture of this as well. This is the right angle connector that Line 6 includes with the G10S. Now, uh, at first glance, you might think, well, maybe it's just to allow us to be able to plug the uh, G10S transmitter into um, maybe a style of guitar input that it wouldn't otherwise fit into, and that you know could be very well the case. But the G10S has more of a of a, a TRS style jack on it. And depending on the wiring of an active guitar, it may not like to see that. So this is more of a standard guitar plug, just a TS style plug. <clears throat> so when you plug the uh, G10S transmitter into this right angle adapter and then plug it into an active guitar, it works fine. And I will show you that with my silent guitar in just a moment. So, um, yes, it works well with, uh, can I say it's going to work with every active guitar out there? I, no, I can't say that. I'm not going to say that. But as is even mentioned in the manual, this little adapter will help it to be far more compatible uh, with guitars with active pickups. So that's great news for those folks. So um, let's take a listen to it with the silent guitar, see how it works there. And then we'll also listen to it with some clean tones. Uh, Again, comparing a uh, physical guitar cable, I'm using a Klotz audio cable, a very high quality uh, cable from a, a wonderful German company. Uh, and then I'll compare that to the sound of the G10S with uh, cable tone off, cable tone at 10 feet and cable tone at 30 feet, all right? Stay tuned, I'll be right back and you can take a listen to all this, all right? So here I am with my, uh, one of my new favorite guitars, my uh, Yamaha Silent Steel String Guitar. I also have the classical uh, nylon string version, but these are amazing. Anyways, here's our uh, Relay G10 um, transmitter. Now if I plug that straight in, you can see how it has this more of a, uh, I hope that's in focus, sorry if it's not guys, uh, a TRS style jack. So if I plug that straight into the input of my silent guitar, as you'll hear, I'm getting nothing out of that, okay? So, enter our right angle jack. So let me take this back out. I connect it to the right angle jack as such. Right away you can hear the sound come back, right? Sorry, that's through a preset, an electric guitar preset, but anyways, you get the, get the idea. So anyways, what's happening here is yes, it is totally compatible all of a sudden when we bring the included right angle jack into the picture. So that should sort of answer some folks' questions about the active pickups. Um, and like I said, I'm not guaranteeing it's compatible with everything. I don't have any way of knowing that, but it does show as line six mentions in the manual that it does really raise the compatibility of it with uh, active pickup guitars. All right, let's listen to some clean electric guitar examples. <laughs> Thank you. 
So what do you guys think? I apologize for butchering uh, some wonderful Jimi Hendrix lines. Um, so that's the sound of it with a, a clean tone. I hope that answers some of your questions that came up yesterday when I was doing my quick review. So again, yes, it can be compatible with active pickups if we have this wonderful little uh, doohickey that uh, Line 6 uh, provides with us, a nice little right angle plug. <clears throat> it does fit uh, most standard guitars, from what I've been told, strats are not a problem. That was another question that came up. And that's the sound of it uh, on a clean sound compared uh, between a physical guitar cable and all the various cable tone settings. So please guys, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm happy to do these quick little videos um, just so you guys know kind of what you're getting into before you decide to purchase. Um, something like the G10S, which I am super happy with. Like I said, it's only been a few days, but I'm loving it. It's working great. It sounds amazing. Latency is great. So, um, you know, I, I think it would be a great purchase if you're in the market for a wonderful wireless system. All right. Thanks again so much for tuning in, guys. Thanks for the questions. Uh, please like the video and share it if you don't mind. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will be back soon with some more content. Thank you so much again for tuning in. We'll talk soon.